Hello everyone, this is Alex Curry for Real World Endodontics. This video will be about the clinical relevance of morphology of an axis. So, oh no, Alex, not a video on morphology and axis. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, yes, you need to talk about this a little bit. And I mean no offense to anybody, I promise. And going back to morphology and axis, this is probably the least sexy topic in dentistry altogether. Yeah, but we got to talk about it a little bit, even though it's not that exciting. And the reason why we need to talk about it is... Like this example here, look at this. This is, this is what I see every day. This is my daily practice. I see a note from the doctor that says, patient presented for root canal treatment on tooth number 30, only distal canal is visible and workable. They say mesobuccal and mesolingual canals are not visible. They're visible. I mean, come on, just look at this. It's just that you're not going to find it if you're digging the wrong way. I mean, this is... You know, digging in this mesial area here is not going to cut it. And I mean no offense to anybody or not even being sarcastic. This is what I see every day, at least once a day. I mean, see, some days I see it, every patient is like that. You can't find the canals. Now, the reason why people can't find the canals is because this is what we have as difficult in endo. You know, with the cleaning and shaping techniques we have today, even the obturation techniques, so simple, so simple. I think this, I really believe this is what we have difficult in root canal treatment, is actually finding the orifice in a, in a calcified pulp chamber, in a calcified canal. Look at these examples here. These are not uh, diagrams. These are teeth that I'm borrowing from the Brown and Herb Renson tooth atlas. On the left here, you have a young tooth, and, and these, again, are not diagrams. They're, they're real teeth, micro-CT images of real teeth. When you look at the image here on the left, you have a young patient doing axis here. It's not really that big of a deal. You, you cut that little class one preparation here, little by little, you break into the pulp chamber, and then you're left with the text, the, the task of unroofing. That's pretty much it. Now, unroofing this uh, easy with, a, with an endo zebra or something like that, something similar, uh, you find the canals right away. I think it goes very, very smooth. Now, if you look at the example here on the right, this is a tooth from an 84-year-old patient, again, available in the tooth atlas from Brown and her Branson. 84 years old. This patient has no pulp chamber. When you look at this image, it's almost like the roof of the pulp chamber is 